In this video, we'll be converting from rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates. Our first problem is to convert the point 3, negative 4, rectangular coordinates, to polar coordinates. Then, write your four forms for your answer. Let's draw a sketch for this point. We have right 3 and then down 4. So our point is here. The x value is 3, and the y value is negative 4. And we're looking for r and theta. Now we can use Pythagorean theorem, or we can see that this is a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. But let's go ahead and use our Pythagorean theorem. We have 3 squared plus negative 4 squared. And that will equal r squared. So 9 plus 16, 25, is equal to r squared, which means when we square root both sides, r is equal to 5. Now to find theta, we'll need to use our right triangle trig. The 3 is the side adjacent to the theta and the negative 4 is the side opposite theta. So we'll need to use tangent of theta. And we know then tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, so negative 4 over 3. Now to get theta by itself, we need to inverse tangent both sides of the equation. So when we take the inverse tangent, or arctangent, of the tangent, we just get theta. And on the right side, we have inverse tangent, negative 4 divided by 3. Let's use our calculator to find that value. Make sure you're in degrees. Um, arctangent will press second tangent to get the arctangent function, and then we need negative 4 divided by 3. And we get theta is equal to a negative 53.13. So one of our forms is an r value of 5 and a theta value of negative 53. Point 13. And this makes sense because this is moving clockwise from the positive x-axis, so a negative 53 degrees does make sense. So that's one of our answers. Now, if we want to keep the positive 5 as the r value and just get a different angle measure, We can, since this is a negative angle measure, we can add 360 degrees to this, and that'll give us the same thing with just a rotation, a positive 360 degree rotation, which doesn't change the position of it. So if we add 360 here, we get 306.87. Now, another form is if we have a negative r value, so a negative 5 out in front. Now, to do that, we need to, uh, for a negative r value, will be a in 180 degrees from this vector. So we can, we don't want to add 180 because that'll put us over the 360 degrees for our angle. So we'll need to subtract 180. And 
that'll give us 126.87. And then uh, let's get the another negative R value. But, but this time uh, we want our angle to be negative. So we'll um, subtract 360 from this. and we get a negative 233.13. So these are our four forms when r is 5 and theta is negative 53.13.